Hi everyone, and welcome to the first episode of The Familiarity. I'm Mage of Myth, or Melissa, bringing you a series of videos meant to be a discussion of a book series called The Familiar by Mark Z. Danielewski. So, Danielewski is probably most famous for his book House of Leaves. House of Leaves is a book that provides a very unique reading experience. This book, along with his other work, Only Revolutions, feature typographical variations and it challenges a way that a book is read and a story is told. And the familiar is no different. So using colorful fonts, uh, wild formatting, uh, varying writing styles, all that sort of thing, Mark Z. Danielewski attempts to invoke the feeling of other types of media when you're reading his books. House of Leaves was meant to invoke the feeling of watching a movie or watching a documentary, whereas Only Revolutions was meant to feel like music when you're reading it. And The Familiar is meant to read like a TV show. Uh, volume 1, One Rainy Day in May, is the pilot, so to speak. We're currently in Season 1 of this story, which ends with Volume 5, and Volume 5 comes out October 31st, 2017. Marcus E. Danielewski has a whopping 27 volumes planned for this ambitious project. But what's this book about? The simple answer, it's about a little girl who finds a cat. But we all know the simple answer is very rarely the real answer. The story follows nine characters spanning the whole world over, and their stories are going to intertwine in ways we can't even yet imagine. And somehow, at the very center of it all is this little girl and the cat that she finds. Xanther is 12 years old with epilepsy. Aster and Anwar are her two parents, and they're very loving and caring, but they're also very scared and confused for her. And all they're trying to do is figure out the best way to raise her and her two little sisters. Luther is a gangster in Los Angeles and a tough one at that. Jingjing Jing is a recovering drug addict in Singapore, living with a mysterious older woman who seems to have a connection to the cat of her own. Oscar is a Turkish detective in the LAPD, and Schnork, I believe this is how you pronounce his name, is an Armenian taxi driver. Cass and her husband are on the run from, a, from the mysterious recluse, and are protecting an equally mysterious scrying orb. And then we have Isandorno who's described only as a quiet man working his way through Mexico. And those are the nine characters this book follows. Each has their own colored dog ear at the top of the page. We have pink for Xanther, orange for Ser, green for Anwar, black for Luther, blue for Jingjing, Jing, gray for Oz, brown for Schnork, red for Cass, and yellow for Isandorno. This is the sort of story that has layers and layers to peel away. One that offers new tidbits every time you read it. And those layers are what I hope to cover in the familiarity. So I was inspired by the book club on Facebook that's being hosted by Mark C. Danielewski and his team themselves. This book club, in the months leading up to the release of Volume 5, is rereading and annotating and discussing all four currently released volumes of The Familiar. As of right now, in August of 2017, they're reading Volume 2. And at the end of each month, Danielewski himself actually comes to the Facebook group and answers some questions for us. Currently, he's only done text answers on the Facebook group, but in the future, he's hoping to be able to do things like FaceTime and things like that in order to actually get one-on-one -on -one with himself and the readers of this story. The community is really great on that Facebook group, and a lot of the things that I'm going to end up discussing on this video series are things that I found through that Facebook group, as well as things that I've taken note of myself while I'm reading these books. The books themselves are pretty hefty. Each one published so far has 880 pages, and those are separated into five acts. You'll notice though it reads pretty quickly because a lot of the pages are actually fairly empty of text. I'm hoping for these videos to cover each one of the acts as well as the preview section that are in the front of the book. So next week's video we'll be jumping right into that discussion. I'll, I'll be introducing the book itself and jumping right into the new this season section. I'm really excited to expand on the discussion that's been happening for these books lately and hopefully bring this really odd project to the eyes of people who have, might not have normally seen it. So tell me guys, have I piqued your interest in this series? Do you have anything to throw into the discussion for future videos? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to check the description where I'll share links to Amazon and Goodreads so you can find out more information on the familiar itself as well as a lot of the resources that I've been using since I picked this book up about a year and a half ago. My goal for this series is to post a new video for it every Tuesday. This is in keeping with the trend that Mark Z. Danielewski himself started in releasing books for the familiar on Tuesdays. 
also be posting other bookish videos here on Fridays, so keep an eye out for those, or, you know, subscribe so you never have to miss a thing. Well, that's really all I have for you guys today. Next week, we'll be delving even deeper into the story of the familiar. So, hope you're excited for that. In the meantime, I'll see you guys later. Bye!